Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and actually I got one more firmware update for, for the Samsung Galaxy S4 and if you recall on July 11th uh, we did an update for the Samsung Galaxy S4 it was the UBM G1 update and now I got the UBM G5 update actually this update was leaked around five days ago but uh, I was not getting the OTA update and whenever I tried to update it uh, via the phone itself uh, uh, it used to give an error that the downloads for the day had exceeded so I just flashed it via Kais you just have to install Kais and you can update the same and the problem I had with the UBM G1 update was that after that update I noticed that my battery life for the Samsung Galaxy S4 was reduced by about 20% and also the phone became a little bit laggy in some of the applications so I hope that this new update uh, fixes those issues so let me show you uh, how I updated via guys so I've connected my Samsung Galaxy S4 to my computer and I opened up guys and as you can see it says the new firmware is available the current version that I'm running is MG1 uh, and uh, my uh, Samsung Galaxy S4 is the i9 500 uh, that is uh, Indian version and uh, I'm doing this via guys because I did not get the OTA update as I uh, mentioned uh, and again it uh, gives you a warning and then it can take uh, quite a bit of time again do note that if you force this update via guys uh, the download will be very big uh, with OTA uh, it, it should be a small update but doing it with guys actually it downloads the entire ROM that can be anywhere around 1.7 to 1.8 GB and now the process of downloading as you can see has started again it can take quite a bit of time so I'll just skip all these screens because it can take anywhere from about half an hour to one hour depending upon your internet connection. And as you can see now it's going to start downloading it. And now as you can see it's uh, saying that preparation for the Galaxy S4 GT i9500 firmware upgrade will proceed. Do not disconnect the cable uh, connected to the PC. Again I have a fairly fast internet connection so it should be done in about 20 minutes. But as I said, it can be anywhere about 1.7 to 1.8 gig of download. So it can take quite a bit of time. So the software download via Kais was done. And uh, now it's actually transferring the image to the phone as you can see. And again, this might take about 2-3 minutes. Again, uh, as I mentioned, it can take a lot of time because the download uh, size is pretty big. If you do it via Kais. And the firmware uh, has been uh, downloaded to the phone and as you can see, it's now actually installing it and it might again reboot it. Actually this firmware update was out from uh, 18th uh, uh, July 2013 but uh, I was waiting for it and I did not get an OTA and whenever I tried that OTA update I was getting an error message that the downloads for the day have been done hence I forced it via guys. Again if you have already been using this uh, firmware update on your S4 Please share your uh, feedback uh, in the comment section. Uh, what did it change? Did you see uh, improvement in battery life or other responsiveness? I'll highly appreciate that. And now the normal process of optimizing the apps is being done. It always happens after these uh, updates, Android updates. And as you can see, it's the first boot after the update. And let me take out the USB cable because it's done. Let's unlock the phone. So this is the phone and uh, let's look at the Android version now. Go to more about the device. And as you can see the build number has changed now it's XWUBMG5. Let's check if we have any updates, any more updates. And as you can see, we do not have any updates. So this is the latest version as of now. Lately, Samsung is pushing out a lot of software updates for the Galaxy S4. I did play with this uh, firmware for a, a bit. 
and i did notice that the free ram available to the galaxy s4 after a clean boot is now uh, somewhere around 920 mb that has increased previously if i recall it was around 700 odd mb so the free ram has been improved i hope this update also improves the battery life so if you are already using this update uh, uh, do share uh, your uh, feedback uh, did it improve the battery life or any other improvements that you have seen with this update thank you this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video